I'm gonna make an obvious prediction. Destiny is only going to have one more paid DLC this year. That's it. I know that's not some groundbreaking prediction. That's not like predicting the Cubs will ever win the World Series or that Adam Sandler will win an Oscar for Best Actor. Or even the YouTube auditor will stop fucking himself. <laughs> This is a fairly easy and predictable guess. Destiny is only getting one more DLC this year because all the signs point to just one more paid DLC. How did I come to this conclusion? Simple. Logic. That's it. There's no secret behind this, but logic is all pointing to just one DLC because Bungie Vision has backed themselves into a corner on this one. Now let's look at all the reasons why we're only going to get one DLC. And we'll start with timing. Last year, Destiny rolled out two DLCs after they released the game, The Dark Below and House of Wolves, and I certainly have more to discuss about those two DLCs as well. The Dark Below was released in December, and then House of Wolves was released in May. Based on that cycle, we already know there is no December DLC. That is a certainty. And if Bungie Vision wanted to take full advantage of a year with content with two DLC packs, they would usually space them out evenly during the year. So the ideal time for the next DLC, after a September launch of The Taken King, would be four months. January would be the next time a DLC is the ideal time to release. Then after that, another four months would pass and that would push you into May, which is exactly when the House of Wolves released. That would be the next time. Then another four months would go by and you would see the next part of Destiny and that would bring you back to September again. That's how a year spaces out if you want two large DLC packs worth of content. But here we are, the end of November, and there's still more content that the Taken King hasn't released. Apparently there's a challenge mode still coming out or whatever the fuck it's supposed to be. I think it has the final fragments that everyone's been looking for as part of the Grim War Squad, ah, whatever man. Without that being released, that's gonna push DLC back. So, let's say best case scenario. They release challenge mode at the beginning of December. I don't think it's gonna happen, but let's just say that. Do you really think they would release one piece of the game and then offer up some paid content just one month later? I highly doubt that. I highly doubt they will fuck with a timetable like that and make the challenge mode seem relevant if they have another DLC in the work. When challenge mode releases, we'll get another six to eight weeks of content out of that before something else comes along because that's how they spaced out the first two parts of the raid so far. So with that timeline, we're talking the earliest we would see a new DLC is February. And I just don't see that happening because if they are only going to have one DLC this year, then they might as well evenly space out the content. If you have two major releases during the year, the Taken King being one of them, over a 12 month span, instead of the three you had last year, it makes sense to space them out six months apart. Am I right? Am I right? Simple math in this motherfucker. So the best bet we're looking at the next DLC is probably going to be March. I can predict as of right now, the next time Destiny will get DLC, will be sometime in March, which gives them the exact ability to roll out the challenge mode for now, allow us to play it frustratingly for six to eight weeks, grinding for irrelevant gear and irrelevant shit, <laughs> only to waste time until that DLC actually releases. The next big reason why I say the DLC is releasing is also tied to the timing portion, and that's the sequel. Destiny 2 is coming, we know that. Destiny 2 is already in the works, as outed by Eric Dushberg over at Activision. <laughs> oh, what an asshole. It makes sense that Destiny 2 would release in around 2016, just two years after the original. So, if Destiny 2 is coming out, don't you think all their efforts would be geared towards that? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm well aware of how studios operate. You don't have a 100-employee studio dedicate all 100 employees to just one project. They divide and they conquer. You have one team work on something, you have another team work on the next project. So chances are, there's a DLC team putting together the next DLC pack. And then there is the Destiny 2 team, which is probably the bulk of the operation right now. A DLC or expansion pack is just an extension of what already exists in the game. Whereas a full game, takes more time to develop shit from scratch. This is how Call of Duty operated for years. A Call of Duty game would release, we would get a few months worth of DLC, but by the time the second and third DLCs were releasing, the studios were already at work on the next version of the game. The studio was divided to make sure they had a DLC team and a full game team. By the fourth DLC, the overwhelming majority of the studio was already working on the next game. The team that did the DLC would release their shit and then get to work on the next game. That way, you have a continuous flow of content and work all at the same time. This is what studios do and how almost all of them operate to produce games quickly and plenty of aftermarket content. So you have to figure the big project that Bungie Vision has on their plate right now 
is the sequel compared to just the minor content that we're going to get as an add-on for DLC. And with a focus on a new game instead of an add-on, you know the studio is going to have all hands on deck for the bigger project, especially considering all the criticism Destiny took after their first release. This is their top priority, not add-on content to a 16-month game. Destiny 2 is going to be their focus. We know that. That alone is just common sense and logic. Now, when you look at those two reasons, timing and a bigger project, there is a third factor to take into account because it's really the driving force behind how Destiny has been molded up to this point. And that's the issue of Destiny being cut or unfinished and having the DLC sold to us as the missing incomplete content. Now I'm not going to harp on that shit, I and many others have already talked about that shit plenty of times. Between the expose article about what happened in Destiny's development, between the two key people being fired, to the lawsuits that are leaking about the inner workings of what happened, to the trailers and previews of the game that use scenery and pieces from the DLC packs before the game released, to common sense and seeing how incomplete and incoherent Destiny felt, Destiny was an unfinished product. I don't think anyone with an ounce of common sense would say the original game was a completed piece. Now, of course, there is no solid concrete evidence to prove this. I've said that plenty of times, but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out shit just didn't go as planned. Two DLC packs were in the works before the game even released. And chances are those two packs were scheduled to be in the original game anyway. They were pulled as incomplete pieces. Had to be reworked after the game was already launched and then resold to us months down the road. And just by the marketing footage alone, some of the parts were at least designed already. We know the lighthouse had been around. We know the cutscene for Mercury had been around. We know the reef area was already created. We know Crotus N, the Citadel, Rasputin's Bunker, they all existed. Even the Dreadnought had footage in the reveal trailer. An ogre pounding the ground with Thrall coming out. That came out two years before the Taken King actually released. None of these DLCs were made from scratch. All of them had some parts already built for them. All Bungie Vision had to do was finish the paint job on each one of these DLCs. Polish it up, add a few things that players complained about in the prior DLCs, sell it for $20 and then $40. Spruce up all the missions so that they feel a touch different, add a few more voiceovers because Peter Dinklage wasn't available to add his extra lines so it was already mismanaged before. <laughs> Oh man, I feel sorry for that poor little midget, man. He came in, he did his job, somebody gave him a fucked up script, they allowed that fucked up script to go through, and then everybody said, oh, Peter Dinklage sucks. Man, that wasn't his fucking fault, that was guys, whoever the fuck was in charge of the goddamn script writing, that was their fucking fault. But anyway, man, the three DLCs that we've seen so far are nothing brand spanking new. None of these DLCs were built from the ground up after Destiny had already released. They all had parts and pieces originally created already, so all they needed to do was just finish up the products that weren't part of the original game, which leads me to my next point. Of all the marketing material we've seen for the game, there's nothing left other than that Prince Aldrin pointing a gun at you seen in the Cosmo Drone, whatever the fuck that never made it into the game. Eh, whatever. You know that shit wasn't in the game, I doubt we'll ever see that shit again. So, it's possible, very possible, that the next DLC is something they have to make from scratch. It's possible that this isn't part of the game that was unfinished and repackaged. So, we could be getting new content for the very first time instead of unlocking some existing part of their original vision. It's possible that some of the concept artwork they originally had is going to show up in some form or another as future content. You know, part of the lawsuit mentioned content like Europa, Mercury, and other locales on Earth as being part of the game. We never saw any footage of that. We saw some artwork of it, so it's quite possible these ideas, which are originally going to be part of DLC, just never panned out that way. It's possible. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying there's a possibility that we're going to see more and more content released that we didn't see in any trailer before. Because the best example of that is the lighthouse. Clearly, there's a social space within the game that hasn't been completed yet, evidenced by the barriers keeping us from moving any further into the motherfucker. So obviously we know there's still more content that they haven't released to us. Did we ever actually see the inner part of the lighthouse during their marketing? No, we didn't, but we knew that it existed because we saw the scenes where the Titan landed down and did his shit, well, whatever. You guys get the idea, you know what I'm talking about. So there's a good chance that what we're getting right now in the next DLC wasn't something developed until after the game actually released. It's something they actually had to create as opposed to just unfinished content for DLC, and if they're creating something from scratch, with no initial content to change, adjust, or build off of, that takes time. Well, let's be honest here for a second. Bungie Vision doesn't really create new content areas. <laughs> they just 
the cycle was already in the game. So if we're going to have a Cabal DLC or some shit, they're basically just going to lock the areas behind Rubicon or the Spire or whatever the hell it is. You know, people already glitch into those areas. They know there's more geography behind that. Yeah, whatever, man. If the next one's going to be Vex, which is my personal guess, which is going to be coming up next, we're going to get Mercury and the rest of the lighthouse unlocked. Then they'll have the recycled parts of Venus that have already been used plenty of times and have us run backwards through all the areas again. Oh, get the fuck out of here, Bungie Vision. All you do is make us run backwards through the same areas we already ran forwards through in this motherfucker, man, because we don't get new areas. We just get new missions in the same fucking areas, man. This shit's so fucking stupid. Anyway, man, when you combine all of these elements, the timing of the content with the Taken King still having portions not being yet released, Destiny 2 on the horizon, and having to possibly create content from scratch. You can see why there's only going to be one more DLC this year, if at all. And personally, that's not a bad thing. Because if they're going to be spending time on the franchise, they should be spending time on making Destiny 2 what everyone wanted in the first fucking place. I mean, shit, it has to be better than Destiny 1, right? <laughs> You can't fuck up two games in a row, can you? Well, only if you're a Call of Duty franchise. <laughs> Anyways, that's my totally unscientific, unproven prediction, which is most likely going to happen because it should take common sense to figure this shit out. So anyways, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all the good shit, and I'll see you guys in the next video.